Hey, Coach Fred Benair. Coach, just start out with an open comment about today's game against uh, Stephen A. Boston. Oh, man, we're blessed to get it in. Uh, you know, the weather conditioning, uh, light, lighting delays, and, you know, for several hours. So I uh, thought that the team came out the first half and played a played a tremendous first half, I thought. Um, defense was uh, fast to the ball, offense was executing. So tell us two halves. Um, came out the second half, looked flat, uh, gave us some big plays, and uh, we didn't execute on offense as well as we should have the second half. So it's kind of a tough battle there, but Stephen F. Austin, a great football team. Uh, you see why they ranked number 10 in FCS. So uh, came out and they played tough the second half. Um, you know, just to tell two halves. Coach, just talk about the play of your quarterback tonight, Aaron Allen. It looked like he controlled the game, his first start here. Just talk about how you thought he did that. Oh, I thought he did an excellent job, uh, you know, managing the game. You know, he had some throws that I wish he, we could have made. Uh, maybe in the turn of the of the ball game, you know. So uh, a couple high passes in the end zone to to a couple receivers uh, that was open. And, uh, but he played an excellent ball game. Uh, I can't say enough about him. And, you know, on the last drive, I thought we had a chance there. You know, we had a pass hit the receiver in the hand, and, and he muffed it and had it picked. So, uh, he played an excellent ball game. Coach, your defense tonight was absolutely fantastic through first half. Second half, they hit you for a couple of big plays, but again, Coach, defense was outstanding tonight. Just talk about the play of Cherilus and, and Kinsler and just some of the others that really stepped up big tonight. You know, the old guys that we thought were going to make the plays made the plays. Cherilus did a great job at the linebacker position. KJ did a great job uh, at the safety position. You know, he's a hitter. Uh, you know, the old guys play hard. They play fast. Uh, the first half. You know, come out the second half a little flat and give us some big plays in the second half that we wish we could have back. Uh, make them work for a drive. Make them work for it. Just don't give us the big one. Coach, talk a little bit about your running backs tonight, Duffy and, and, and company tonight. They really, everybody got in, everybody got some good runs, but then again, you, you had something in the vault that you'd been holding and, and you let it out tonight. And that, that, that beast got loose for a couple of big plays. Oh, yeah, it did. I mean, Javion Howard managed a great back, and you see what we got. So, uh, you know, the biggest thing here was the combination of him and Duffy. Um, you know, they're going to make some plays for us. And that's the thing that we always wanted to have a good running game, in which I think Elliott doing a great job about creating holes and uh, forming the run in. So those guys going to be solid the whole year. We just got to keep them up right and uh, keep them healthy. Fast tempo offense looked like it really kind of got to the Lumberjacks a little bit, Coach. Just talk about what it meant to be able to do that tonight and, and frustrate the number 10 team in the country. And, Coach, it looks like you're, you're probably going to frustrate a lot of teams with the pace of that offense and the way it was run to perfection. You know, that's the thing that we stride on the whole camp. You know, even during the summer, um, in July, we based everything on fast tempo. You know, FAF, uh, fast as, and, uh, <laughs> you know, but you know, they, 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 those guys played an excellent game, man. And they, they, the, uh, the tempo offense really got to them in the first half. You know, the thing was, we, we can't get three and out and can't get behind the chain like we did the second half. I think get behind the chain kind of made us a little different. Uh, didn't have any uh, go fast the way we did the first half. So uh, we just got to keep the tempo going. I think the guys are doing a great job of adjusting the things that we need to get done in terms of the fast tempo stuff. So there's some stuff that we're working on, and uh, we got to continue to work and get better. Coach, a four-hour delay, that, technically three and a half hours from kickoff, but delay started about 5.13 p.m. What did you guys do during that time to kind of stay focused, keep the guys mentally prepared, and then come out the way you did in that game and just really play a great game tonight? Well, how, how were you able to keep the guys focused and, and your staff, too? You know, the biggest thing is that's, that's something we're talking about. You know, adversity comes, and you know, it hit tonight. Uh, he hit us before the game and he hit us during the course of the game. So uh, just made the adjustment. The guy was loose in the locker room and you know, kind of let him uh, be free, listen to music, and uh, lay back and had snacks in the locker room for him. And, uh, you know, they got fueled up, you know. So a lot of chocolate do that to you, you know. So those guys kept going and uh, just able to come out the first half and execute. You know, the staff is we just lay back, you know, we just make sure that we make sure those guys are, are right when they go out. So uh, did a great job. You know, making an adjustment to the delay. Coach, you put this one behind you real quickly, but you got to take some positives from tonight no matter what, though, yes? Uh, that's the biggest thing. That's what I talked to him about during the course of the uh, post-game post -game speech, you know. Uh, it's a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. You know, let's take the positive from it, let's learn from it. But at the same time, you got to take criticism. You got to be able to have tough skin because there are some plays that we could have made, and it's their fault. Uh, but you take a lot of positive things from this, and uh, I think these guys understand what we as coaches try to get them to do, we pass on that knowledge to them to be great. Coach, bigger picture here right now is that this said a lot about the SWAC tonight. You, you have a team from the WAC come in. A lot of talk have been talked about the SWAC all year and, and was the conference really up to par. I think tonight he really did show that, though. It's about competing, man. And, and these guys don't look at the conference. Uh, 
You know, the SWAC has been a great conference since I've been in it. You know, even when I was playing it, it's been a great conference. So I think what Dr. McClellan is doing is doing a great job implementing things that he needs to to make it better. Uh, doing a great job at that. You know, brought two more teams into the conference. Uh, and fam, you and um, Bethune Cookman. So uh, we're on up and up and uh, we're doing a great job. But this, this conference is a great conference. We can compete against anybody in the FCS, I think. Uh, you know, some of the big boys. So we're, we're, we're excited about what we're doing. We're excited about where this program is going in terms of playing those upper lunch top 10 uh, FCS teams as well. So we just got to keep fighting, keep grinding. And the SWAC is a great conference to be in. Coach, thank you so much.